Hello and thanks for joining us here at Luvino on Bargetown Road as we celebrate this year's Excel Award recipients. The Excel Award recognizes teachers that go above and beyond inside the classroom, honoring them with a golden apple and a check for $1,000 sponsored by LG&E and KU. Now our first Excel Award recipient that we want to celebrate this year is described as a natural leader. Susan Duval says she's invested in every student in her classroom, regardless of their work style. We went down to E-Town to celebrate this first Excel Award winner. In the United States, those are the states they're in. In her 17 years of teaching, Miss Susan Duvall is described as an incredible teacher who holds all students to high expectations. On Wednesday, she invited our crew into her classroom to see her passion and commitment firsthand. The most important thing in this job is to create your relationships from early on, get to know the kids so that you are invested and you truly want to be here for them. I have a hard time missing work because I know that it leaves them hanging. I know that they need me here and I need them, truth, truthfully. A natural leader, Ms. Duval focuses on the needs of each one of her students, taking the time to learn their learning styles. Very good, different images. She also serves as a leader within the school, making herself available to fellow teachers for mentorship and using her experience to push for higher professional standards. It's a quality school principal, Kelly Miller says, sets Ms. Duval apart and makes her deserving of this recognition. She's very passionate about learning, but she caters and teaches to every individual need, not just the whole group, but to every individual. During an Excel Awards ceremony at Lincoln Trail, her colleagues, family members and students came together to celebrate her award and make sure she knows just how much her efforts at the school are appreciated. As for her plans with the $1,000 check awarded to her by LG&E and KU for use in her classroom. I have not, the kids have. They've asked me to get an, a class pet, <laughs> and I said no. <laughs> We're going to think of other things to use the money on. Again, congratulations to Susan Duval from Lincoln Trail Elementary School, this week's Excel Award winner. This next Excel Award recipient was a top 10 finalist for Teacher of the Year. We got the opportunity to go to Goodermuth Elementary School to meet this week's Excel Award winner, Cindy Hunley. In her years of teaching, Miss Cindy Hunley is described as an exemplary teacher, collaborator, and innovator. On Wednesday, she welcomed us into the Goodermuth Library to show us some of the ways she's setting herself apart from other teachers. I try to do things, obviously being the librarian, I try to do things related to literacy, but I try to do things that are authentic, things that kids can then use in their real lives. We do a lot of technology, we do a lot of things that we can ultimately um, have to an authentic audience. We want kids to not just do something to turn it into the teacher. We want to put it out there. We want to get reactions. We want to get feedback. A top 10 finalist for the 2021 Teacher of the Year, Miss Hunley has been teaching for a total of 29 years. She takes time to make sure her library is as diverse in content as the student body at Goodermuth and make sure her students always have plenty of options. During an Excel Award ceremony at Goodermuth, her colleagues, family members, and students came together to celebrate her award Big congratulations to Miss Cindy Hunley. And make sure she knows just how much her efforts at the school are appreciated. The highest award. Only like 20 every year are given out. Do you know how many teachers there are in JCPS? Over 6,000 teachers. So that means that Miss Hunley is like one of the best out of 6,000 teachers in the entire district. As for her plans with the $1,000 check awarded to her by LG&E and KU for use in the classroom. We have a Lego area in the back of the library and the kids love it. So my plan is to buy a few more things because Lego can get expensive. We want to buy some things like motors so we can take our um, work to another level. And then obviously I want to buy some new seating, some flexible seating so when kids are reading books they can kind of kick back and relax. Again, congratulations to Cindy Hundley from Goodermuth Elementary, this week's Excel Award winner. For some students, it's just as important to learn a trade as it is to learn English or math. So we had the opportunity to go to Pleasure Ridge Park High School and meet welding teacher Mr. David McCoy. 
Mr. David McCoy played a major role in launching the school's welding program in 2016, not only creating a place where students could learn valuable skills, but forging a path for students to have opportunities as soon as they graduate. Since the program began, more than 300 students have become certified through the American Welding Society. It's easy to flourish here. You know, I mean, that's all I can say. It's easy to flourish. You know, there's, I'm, I'm in an area that's so diverse. I, I, I can help so many more people, which I, I really do enjoy that. It ain't, it's a, you know, and that's where my satisfaction comes in. Mr. McCoy began the state of Kentucky's first ever all-female welding competition, creating a space where women feel comfortable asserting themselves in a male-dominated industry. It's awesome um, being able to show up the men and uh, be able to weld better than half of them and just basically show them up. It's awesome. And when you go into the profession, as explained by Mr. McCoy, it's not even a, a gender payroll thing anymore. It's how well you do and how you're doing in this situation. During an Excel Award ceremony at PRP, colleagues, family members, and students came together to celebrate the award and make sure Mr. McCoy knows just how much his efforts at the school are appreciated. On behalf of lg and &E and KU and WHAS 11, I want to say a big congratulations to Mr. McCoy. You are an Excel Award recipient. Thank you. As for his plans with the $1,000 check awarded to him by lg and, &E and KU for use in the classroom. I am going to buy supplies that students need in order to perform what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. That was, they, Our students don't have to purchase anything. They come here, they get what they need. And, they, and that, which is another great thing here in the city of Louisville. Again, congratulations to David McCoy from Pleasure Ridge Park High School, this week's Excel Award winner. But some of the best teachers know how to keep all of their students excited and engaged. This one wants to use VR headsets to take all of our students on adventures. We went to the Academy at Shawnee to meet this next recipient. Yvonne DeVia Beagle's colorful classroom puts students' learning into practice, getting hands-on opportunities to celebrate Spanish-speaking culture. She has high expectation in her classroom, not only in teaching another language, but in teaching life lessons. I teach global studies, so through Spanish. So we learn about Spanish art, and we learn about Spanish foods, and we learn about Spanish culture, in addition to developing functional language skills. And so I think that by keeping the class interesting, it keeps them more engaged so they're willing to take risks because there's a lot of different things to learn about. Miss Beagle is in her third year of teaching at a JCPS school but in her 20th as a teacher in Kentucky. She's skilled at building relationships and creating learning experiences tailored to all of her students. They describe a teacher so focused on showing them how care can build confidence. She is a beacon of hope for all of our students and staff and she hopes to, for us to achieve higher levels of learning. She engages in all of her classes with high energy teaching and puts motivational thoughts through our ears while we're working. During an Excel Awards ceremony at the Academy at Shawnee, colleagues, family members, and students came together to celebrate the award. As for her plans with the $1,000 check awarded to her by lg and &E and KU for use in her classroom, just like everything else, it's all about the students. One of the things they really want is VR headsets for us to do like global expeditions. So we want to go to Machu Picchu virtually and do all these things. And so I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that money's spent. But definitely it's going to be spent on my kids because that's what I spent all my money on. Again, congratulations to Miss Beagle from the Academy at Shawnee, this week's Excel Award winner. This next teacher was up against some stiff competition to win the award, even beating out her very own husband. We went to Morningside Elementary to celebrate Victoria Lynn. Miss Tori Lynn focuses her teaching style on the simple things, the thank yous that make all the hard work, sacrifice, and determination worthwhile. She knows her students won't remember every lesson she teaches, but she has the ability to make a lasting impression on their lives. That she loves everyone. So I think it's so important to build love in them and trust and respect. That way they have that when they come to my classroom before they're ready to learn. And then after I do that, I mean, we have the best relationship. They know that they can trust me. And then they're more willing to learn and they understand why we're doing things. Miss Lynn was selected out of a group of people for the award, even beating out her own husband. In her ninth year of teaching and third on her current position, she joined the Elevate E-Town strategic leadership team 
dedicating time outside the school building to creating a plan to improve the school system over the next five years. I wanted to make sure that my voice was heard and I knew that it would be so important to understand what was coming. That way our district would continue to be successful. It was worth the time. During an Excel award ceremony, colleagues, students and her husband came together to celebrate the award. As for the plans with the $1,000 check awarded to her by lg and &E and KU for use in her classroom. I love first grade. I plan on staying in first grade. I know I'm in first grade next year and I really want to see what they want, what they would like more of, maybe more hands-on manipulatives, things to help them in their lessons. Um, I really want to make it about them because they are especially a part of this process and they are one of the main reasons that I'm here before you today. So I want to involve them in that. So lots of talks to come up with them. Again, congratulations to this week's Excel Award winner, Ms. Tori Lynn from Morningside Elementary. From Great House Elementary, this next teacher is known for taking a very difficult subject and making it much easier to digest. We introduce you to Ms. Megan Bryant. Some people seem to have more hours in the day than the rest of us. Megan Bryant, a mentor, tutor, and teacher, is one of those people. And so I've done this since I was a little kid where I wanted to juggle a lot. Um, so that kind of feels natural. I do best busy, um, kind of a little bit of an energizer bunny in that way. So I actually work better when I'm busier and that's kind of more my nature than anything. Miss Bryant has 15 years of teaching experience and is well known among her colleagues as being a team player. She has an ability to make complex topics digestible for her students and creatively makes learning hands on fun. I've brought stuff that I used to do with my fifth graders down to my third graders and I'm like, oh, if I set the bar here, like they'll meet me. So it's actually worked out just fine because I know I'm building some blocks, but I'm also like, how can I stretch it? Because I know what's coming in the later grades. So that's actually worked out a lot to my benefit. During an Excel award ceremony at Great House, colleagues, students, and her family came together to celebrate the award. So on behalf of WHAS 11 and LG and -E KU, I want to say congratulations to Miss Megan Bryant. You are an Excel award recipient. <laughs> check awarded to her by lg and &E and KU for use in the classroom, her kids want a class I don't think that would be her best option. So I'll be thinking at some point, but right now I have my head in the game for like end of year testing and all of our fun end of the year events. So at some point I will figure out what to do with it. <laughs> Again, congratulations to this week's Excel Award winner, Miss Megan Bryant from Great House. Born and raised in LaRue County, she's now making it her mission to teach the next generation of leaders in her community. We went to LaRue County Middle School to meet Miss Brandy Piper. You having fun? Yeah. When she thinks about her students, Brandy Piper imagines they'll grow up to raise families, run businesses, be nurses and doctors, and provide services in LaRue County and beyond. I grew up here, uh, born and raised here. <laughs> I've lived here my entire life, so to come back home and to make sure that the kids here have the same experiences that I did, but know that there's more out there um, and that they can always come home, like it, it's special to me. In her 11 years of teaching, Miss Piper has focused on cultivating success in the classroom by demonstrating how people should treat each other. She welcomes love and appreciates every one of her students, leading by example. Her colleagues look to her to set the standard. She goes above and beyond and just, just, it's kind of like no student left behind. She tries to catch every student that she comes into contact with and she digs deep to try to just find something that, that they like. During an Excel Award ceremony at LaRue High School, colleagues, students, and her family came together to celebrate the award. <laughs> She's not sure what she's going to do yet with that $1,000 check awarded to her by lg and &E and KU for use in her classroom, but she's got a few thoughts. It's so nice um, to think about not having to spend my own money and that I can use this money um, to make my kids have a level playing field, to make sure that they have the things in the classroom that they need and things that we can use to help them to grow and to thrive. Again, congratulations to Miss Brandy Piper of LaRue County Middle School, this week's Excel Award recipient. He may shy away from the spotlight, but we have no problem shining it brightly on him and celebrating and surprising this next teacher. It's Mr. Philip Cooper from Wagner High School. 
Oh, you, oh, you have a question, Dakota? Dividing his attention among all students, Mr. Cooper subtracts the things holding his kids back to multiply their college preparedness levels. Um, if your radius was four. In his classroom, all the work adds up to an Excel award. It was a humbling experience. Um, it's something that I always tend to turn away the spotlight. Um, don't get me wrong, I like to be the center of attention in my classroom, but uh, being the center of attention is something that I, I shy, shy away from. Outside the classroom, Mr. Cooper is a leader among staff members, both inexperienced and veteran. He's the math department chair and shares his most successful methods and strategies with other teachers. It's very encouraging. Uh, I think that anyone who has a desire to work in public education and has a desire to be a teacher um, can really have an impact on students as well as uh, the colleagues. Mr. Cooper is truly a huge role model to me. During an Excel Awards ceremony at Wagner, colleagues, students, and his family came together to celebrate the award. As for his plans with the $1,000 check awarded to him by LG&E and KU for use in the classroom, he's got a creative idea. I'd like to start a ping pong club um, to help with the school climate and, and, you know, just bring kids together as a community and um, get to do something fun with it. Again, congratulations to Mr. Philip Cooper from Wagner High School on his Excel Award. She was inspired by her childhood, saying she had some of the most amazing teachers growing up. Right now, we're going to Shelby County to celebrate Miss Krista Hardesty. Krista Hardesty is known for being caring and kind, patient and approachable, but firm when it comes to her third grade students. She works to learn each one of her students' strengths and helps them bridge the gaps by meeting them where they are. I got in it for the kids. I had some really incredible teachers like growing up and um, I just wanted to be that for them. Um, I've always loved being around children and just seeing them get excited about learning and to have those like aha moments, um, I wanted to be there for them. Miss Hardesty has taught at Shelby County Public Schools for more than 15 years. She's a leader among her fellow teachers, both inside the school and throughout the district. She not only focuses on students past and present, but every student inside the entire school building. Her humbleness shows, even up to the minute she found out she'd won. I was shocked. <laughs> I literally sat in the ceremony and was like just sitting there. My husband had to like nudge me and be like, they called your name. And I was like, oh, um, there's just so many incredible people that were nominated. So I, I, don't, I was just I was shocked, very excited. During an Excel Award ceremony at Mormon, colleagues, family members and students came together to celebrate the award. You are an Excel Award recipient. As for her plans with the $1,000 check awarded to her by LG&E and KU for use in the classroom, there are already some things in the works. Our kids did just do a garden project. We, they designed like a sensory garden, so they had to pick flowers. They go with all the senses, and we collected donations, but this will help like kind of get what the donations didn't collect, so I'm definitely going to use it for part of that. Again, congratulations to Krista Hardesty of MCM, this week's Excel Award winner. This next teacher is trying to put some pizzazz in the mundane. She is lifting her students' spirits through learning and telling them, yes, they can. We're going to the Phoenix School of Discovery. When you take a look inside Tracy Issing's classroom. Well, how would you introduce yourself? You may think it looks unorthodox, chaotic. Let's get back to our side seats, gentlemen. Maybe a little out of sorts, but every single thing is intentional carefully created and planned, a reflection of her teaching style. As you can tell behind me, they're matching my personality right now because I'm very loud and want to be heard and so do they. One thing that defines who you are, the passion that I can make hard subjects fun. Part of the reason why today she's being honored with an Excel award. I was completely shocked. My first response, which was kind of funny, was I didn't apply. And then my principal laughed at me and says, you're not supposed to apply. Miss Issing models the behavior she hopes her students will show, getting excited about what many would consider mundane. Does anyone remember? In the science lab, her childlike reaction to the exciting and new reflects on her students. I want kids to love science. I want them to enjoy it as much as I have. And I want them to re um, realize that anyone can amount to anything and do anything in science. During an Excel Award ceremony at the Phoenix School, colleagues, students, and her family came together to celebrate the award. I want to present this Excel Award to Ms. Tracy Issing of the Phoenix School of Discovery. Congratulations. 
As for her plans with the $1,000 check awarded to her by lg and &E and KU for use in the classroom, she said it's going to be a group decision. We're still thinking about it. I'm actually going to my middle school team and we're going to sit and talk about how best to uh, spend the money because it's not just my money, it's our money. Again, congratulations to this week's Excel Award winner, Miss Tracy Issing from the Phoenix School of Discovery. Preschool teachers are often unsung heroes. They're teaching the littlest among us with sometimes some of the most difficult tasks. But her preschoolers are learning how to be independent and strong. We're going to Oldham County to celebrate Miss Karen Putlack. Some teachers always knew the career was for them. But others, like Miss Putlack, took time to find their calling. She didn't get a degree in teaching until she was in her late 40s. I knew what I wanted to do because I had aided and subbed in my children's classes and at their school and I loved it. So I jumped back in and that's where I was introduced to early childhood, special ed, regular ed, and I loved it. Described by her colleagues as innovative and engaging, the preschool teacher focuses on getting her kids independent, connecting technology and in-class items to keep her students focused and learning. It was, I, I'm just so honored. I just can't believe it. I, I'm loving that I'm the representative for the preschool. Um, a lot of people think that preschool is just games and play and drop in, and we're not. We're a real school with real skills. During an intimate award ceremony in the classroom, colleagues, students, and her family celebrated the award. Cool. Um, how awesome. Excuse me. Isn't that cool? As for her plans with the $1,000 check awarded to her by lg and &E and KU for plans in the classroom, Ms. Putlack has a big idea. I think right now my plan is just to get more learning activities, enhance what I've got, and just spend it that way. Um, don't settle maybe for one thing, but just do a lot. Again, congratulations to this week's Excel Award recipient, Ms. Karen Putlack from Oldham County Preschool. Not only does this winner teach students, he also trains and manages the cadet program at his school. He's been in charge of the ROTC program at Jeff High School for eight years. I joined students and staff at Jeffersonville High School to honor Colonel Robert Benning. One of the hardest workers inside the building, the Colonel holds true to his title. He's a strong leader of the JROTC program at Jeffersonville High School, described by his cadets as trustworthy, honest and caring. He's humble about his achievements, saying his students deserve the recognition. But so much of the program is, is for the cadets. So while I'm an instructor in the classroom, where we interact a lot with the cadets is our after school program. So I, I'm here at 6.30 in the morning and it's 4.30, 5 o'clock before I leave just about every day because every day we've got something going on. Classes in the AF JROTC program involve physical team building activities designed to empower students leadership and collaboration. For more than eight years, Colonel Benning has been known for finding the skills within his cadets they may not always see within themselves. He's created a network of students who adore him not only for his work in the classroom, but for his experiences as a veteran. But very honored because I know we have some fantastic teachers here at Jeff High and in Greater Clark, and to, to be selected, that, that was an honor for me. During an award ceremony, students, his wife, and colleagues celebrated the award. On behalf of WHAS 11 and lg and &E and KU, you are an Excel Award recipient. <laughs> As for his plans with the $1,000 check awarded to him by lg and &E and KU for use in the classroom, Colonel Robert Benning has a plan. If I can put that money towards that obstacle course, that would be great. Uh, otherwise, we'll definitely find something, you know, in the classroom that the cadets need and can use. Uh, but we're greatly appreciative of that, that check. Again, congratulations to this week's Excel Award winner, Colonel Robert Benning from Jeffersonville High School. And finally, we're spotlighting a Southern Indiana teacher who goes above and beyond in and out of the classroom. She doesn't just do her work and go home. She's also helped raise thousands of dollars for a city project. We're joining staff and students at Mount Taylor Elementary School to honor Mindy McKnight. For over 20 years, Mindy McKnight has served her students, school, and community as a whole. Her work with special needs students stood out during the school system's selection process, where she was described as wise, passionate, and a great classroom manager. I was very taken back, um, surprised. You know, normally, special ed, you know, we just kind of stay off in the in the 
background and we don't get noticed as much because we just do what we do normally. One of her biggest accomplishments in the New Albany Floyd County community was working with Parks and Recreation to create an all-inclusive playground for children like the ones she teaches. She was able to raise over a million dollars to help complete the project, leading volunteer efforts and communication to the public about the facility. Just knowing that I had a big part in that dream and seeing that dream come to, to life in front of my eyes was outstanding. Um, makes me very proud to be a part of such a big project in my hometown. During an award ceremony, colleagues, students, and her husband celebrated the award and her community accomplishments. On behalf of WHAS 11 and lg and &E KU, I want to say big congratulations to Mindy McKnight. You are an Excel Award recipient. Miss McKnight didn't know an Excel Award came with a check for $1,000 to use in the classroom. Winning an Excel Award comes with a check for $1,000. Ooh. Did you know that? <laughs> wow. You didn't that, know that? No, that's oh. awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but with a new teacher joining her team next year and a move to a new room in the building, she's already coming up with a plan. I am sure there will be many needs um, as we work through this process next school year. Again, congratulations to this week's Excel Award winner, Mindy McKnight of Mount Tabor Elementary. In New Albany, I'm Haley Minogue, WHAS 11 on your side.